middle of the week for you. We're going to do a couple of videos today. Little vine burying process. As you can see, there's a bunch of vines sticking up. We haven't done it for three days. It's been cloudy and cool, so right now it's sunny out. Not really sunny. The sun is out, but it's cloudy. So we're going to go through and bury all of our vines here. So we'll give you a little before and after shot to kind of see what that looks like. But first, there's old Pinks. Here we go. I'm gonna move it over here. And the first thing I do is we're getting the vine directed so it's over here. We're gonna start moving it over there. See if we can see the little baby. There she is in the tip. So there's that one. That's the Marenzer plant. You can see there's only a little bit of room over here left. Probably about, oh, I'd say six, eight days of growth. Depending if it gets sunny, that's three, four days of growth. So if it's cloudy like it's supposed to, probably six, eight days of growth. We are just in a very, very cloudy pattern right now. And now let's go look at the Gettys plant. Once again, you can see side vines are sticking up. And here we go. We'll go look down here. Lots of side vines need buried. It'll take a while. So here you go. You can see the vine going right through here, going straight. And it comes here, and it should be out there somewhere, but nope. We're curling it that way. So I'll give you a little look of how I do this here. I, like I said, I like to do it right away. I get it going right now because I'm in the greenhouse. Generally, if I wasn't in the greenhouse, I w probably wouldn't be as confident that I get one to pollinate, but I'm in the greenhouse, so I expect this to be pollinated. And this one here, as you can see, it's going to be earlier than the other one. There she is. So she's right there. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to start directing it back right along here. All right, there it is. There's the Gettys plant. Lots of vine burying to do. See you in a bit. All right, here we are, an hour or two later, and we got all the side vines buried. Just take your time when you're doing this, anybody who hasn't done it before. I like to get them right up at the end. That way I don't have to do it for three or four days. <laughs> depending on how nice it is outside. So that's what it all looks like. There's a plant all covered, the 1990 Marenzer. I can just tell by looking at all the leaves, it's perfect green. So the plant has everything at once right at the moment. And we will see what it looks like here. I'm sure they'll be sticking up in the air a couple of days from now. We'll keep working on turning this vine out. All right, end of the week, time to check up on the pumpkins, see how they did for the whole week. I are actually gonna take a couple videos today because we got a lot of work to do. But first, if you wanna see our outside pumpkins, I'm not gonna really have any videos of that, but what can they do, buddy? They can check out my videos and channel. That's right, I'm gonna put a link to his. Katie's just made another one. He, he chose his pumpkins yesterday. So if you haven't seen how he does it, you probably want to check that out. It's it's a lot more fun. The videos are edited way better than what I could ever do. So go check this kid out, all right? Yep. Give him a little follow, a like, all that good jazz. Anyways, back to our pumpkins here. As you can see, they have really grown and they are popping up and they need to be buried. So we're going to show you that at the end of the day. We'll give you a little, this is early in the morning and then late at night. We'll also show you pinky throughout the day to see if it actually has any growth on the plant. Go ahead, Kate. It's way back there and way up here. I mean, I am totally impressed with all these plants. The amount of growth on the side vines, the amount of growth that the pumpkin plant is doing. If you remember last year, if you saw some of those videos, our May was extremely cloudy. What's this May been like, Kate? Very cloudy, no sun. No sun. This is the first day that there might actually be some sun throughout yep. the entire day. So that's why I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a 
a morning video and an evening video just to see if they actually do respond to sunlight. A little bit of the sunlight. Yeah. It has been so cloudy here, rainy, and the plants are huge. Last year, it was just probably about here was the tip of it, and the there was very few side vines at the end of May right now. And you can see both plants, side vines are growing crazy. So very impressed with both of these plants. We're also going to be using these girls. If you would have seen our video last year, this is what we grow our pumpkins on so we can easily pull them out of our greenhouse. Just like Travis Ginger, the chosen one is the in the tip here and the chosen one on the 2304 Gettys back there is ready to go. We go with one pumpkin. I get it all completely set up. I'm very confident in how well I can pollinate the pumpkin. I also, I don't care about lobes. I think Travis only had three lobes on his pumpkin last year. Uh, I, I know that there's been some deformed lobes that have produced huge pumpkins, so I'm not even gonna be concerned if that's a deformed one or if that is only a three lober. That's the one we're going to go with that's in there. So it's in the perfect location. Kind of whatever it is, it is this year. We're just going with it. We're very confident in how well we can pollinate them. I don't yeah. think I've had a mispollination in probably, I don't know, three years now. They've all pollinated. As long as I can remember. Yeah. So let's go over and check out the other pumpkin plant here, Cade. We're going to walk through here. See the leaves are just perfectly green still. I'm very impressed, like I said. I, they're taking up the nutrients that they need. Uh, both plants are very healthy. We got a few back here. Like I said before, the um, side vine is coming. You can almost see it right there. It'll fill in right there. So we have, you know, a slow one. And I also have a slow one that is right in there. It'll fill in a little bit of a gap there. So I have that. Um, they don't always grow perfectly. You know, the Gettys, on the other hand, it doesn't have as much of that gap. It's more of a compact plant, very closely leafed together. Uh, there's one one slow side vine right here, but it'll it'll take off, especially because this only needs about three feet. There's three of them. The, I don't know why the third one is really growing crazy. It'll need to be terminated. This one here. It'll need to be terminated and probably, I don't know, be sure before the end of the week next week, just depending on this clouds, you know, I, I, I keep saying, well, generally it'd be two or three days. Well, <clears throat> this year with the, all the clouds, it, who knows? So it's, it's, it's definitely taken a little bit of a time. Over here, we got the same thing. The Gettys has been growing amazing. We got a huge loop out there. You can see the pumpkin. He's right, she's right there. So same thing, we're gonna set up our uh, mat right here, our dirt blanket. Uh, I'm going to, at the end of the day here, I'll have this vine train going back the other direction. We have our nice big loop. I come clear out here, then I'd circle it clear back here. So that pumpkin, when it grows up, it'll grow this way, it'll grow this way, it'll go both directions, it'll have a huge loop not a little short one so it, it's massive out there we want a big huge pumpkin that sits over here yeah so there it is and then Kay, do you want to crawl out here do we have our no, it's, marker it's right here. oh it fell down well i think it was somewhere over here why don't you uh, go out there and put it at the tip of the plant it's okay if you step on it right there yeah last time he gets a step on the soil okay there it is, Cade. We will talk to everybody later. What do you say, buddy? What do you think? Yep. Bye. All right, well, we got Cade here at the end of the day again today on Sunday evening. You're gonna wrap up the video, two videos in a row. Pretty sweet, huh? Yep. And how did that sun do for us today? Horrible. <laughs> yeah, it didn't quite do so well, did it? No. No, we, we, we saw the sun in the morning. We thought, yeah. oh baby, we might get some sun today. That did not happen, but that's okay. As you can see, we got our pumpkins set up. We're ready to go. We got their little blue tarp 
ready to be able to just jerk it out of here again. That was so sweet last year. Tarp set up, the baby's right there. It's ready to grow. Kate's standing by our 1990. What do you think, bud? What do we all do with it today? Yep, we got all the vines that it's, they're all covered up. They're ready to rock and roll again, aren't they? Yep. Yep, we got about, oh, how many days before pollination? What do you think? What's your guess? Eight. eight. <laughs> Maybe eight days, Kate says. All right, well, we'll find out. So here it is. There's the Marenzer. Let's just go give him one quick shot at the Gettys over there. Look at that one. Walk us through here, bud. He's trying to fall. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the leaves as we walk through them? They're big and green. They're big and green, he says. Nice, big, green leaves. Yeah, I've, I'm, I'm like I've, I've said it a lot before, but I'm going to keep saying it. Best plants to date. We've never had these good of plants. They are the perfect green. They're exactly what we're looking for. You can see the Gettys is all getting all its side vines down i mean it's starting to take off extremely well it only has a little bit here the renter only has a little bit there they'll both be done and Cade, what can you tell us about our little platform over there um we're going to we're going to be able to pull it out with our tarp yep it's a pretty good situation right yep. there should be able to nice pull it easy. straight out that door right Yep. That's, I mean, for us, that's the main reason we want to put it in a location that's going to be easy to get to, to get out of here, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's the Gettys. It's looking great. Leaves are great. Perfect green color. Can't beat it. See you next week. See ya.